What's up everyone, Steven here from techmaker.tv. In this episode, we're gonna look at something we looked at yesterday, which is the new morph modes and stimulus reflex. But in this video, we're gonna look at it with view components instead of using Rails partials. In the previous episode, we were looking at a checklist feature that's part of a note-taking application. This is a simple project management app that we were also building out as a demo. And as always, you can find this project built out from start to finish over on techmaker.tv um, and probably most of it's on YouTube as well. I don't remember exactly what's where off the top of my head, but the entire series is over there on the website for sure. Um, but anyway, this project, instead of using partials, we've built this out with view components and essentially as you update this, um, you can see the little status badge over here changes, but it's a little more straightforward than uh, the other one in the sense that we don't have like a progress bar and different things like that. So what we want to happen is once we change this status, uh, we just want to re-render this box instead of re-rendering the whole page and doing a DOM diff, which is what's happening now. Um, and we need to look at how we can do that with our view components implementation. This is going to follow a pretty similar path as when we looked at this with partials yesterday. Um, so if you saw that, you're going to be fairly familiar here. I did get some really good um, suggestions from Hopsoft over on the Stimulus Reflex Discord. And if you're interested in Stimulus Reflex, I highly suggest you go check that out. And anyway, I'm going to use some of the suggestions for some code styles that he uh, made. But anyway, let's go ahead and go to the code and jump in. So if we open up our gem file, and down here at the bottom or wherever you have the Stimulus Reflex gem, I'm going to change this to be exactly 3.3.0 pre2. And then we'll go bundle. And that should update us to the most recent version. And so, okay, good, we're on 3.3 now. And then let's start our server back up. And once this is running, I'm going to have to sign in again over here, most likely. And I'm going to go over and open up the projects show page just to remind ourselves what this looks like. So down here at the bottom, we're rendering out task component with collection, and then we're just uh, pushing in some sorted tasks. So what I want to look at is this task component HTML. What I want to do in here is add an ID equals and we'll pass in a DOM ID, which is a helper method that we can use to actually generate an ID automatically from the active record object. So that will, like if the ID on the task is four, we should have a DOM ID that's like task underscore four. So once we have that, we are basically ready to go and hook up our morph. So let's go look at the task, is it task reflex? Is that what we called it? Tasks reflex? No, it looks like that's for the drag and drop sort. We want to look at the status reflex. So let's play around with this a little bit here, uh, kind of like we did in the video yesterday. I just want to see what happens. I'm always doing sanity checks, so let's see what happens if we do morph, um, and then we want the ID, so we'll say task underscore task dot ID. Um, I wonder if I can use helper methods in here, so I could say like application helper. Let's try. Well, let's let's see if this is working first. Let's just test testing this out. So let's refresh here and let's change the status and see what happens. So you can see that box instantly changes to testing this out. That was funny, I can still drag and drop it and everything. Interesting, okay. So we've got that working. Let me see if I can actually, this might be a little bit overkill, but why not? So we could say something like, uh, uh, hmm, selector equals, and then we could say application helper. You know what I think I need to actually do like this. I think I need to say include application helper. This may not be a good idea so proceed with caution. I just want to see if this actually works the way that I think because I'm a nerd. So let's try this um, and let's change this to not started and it still works. So 
that's interesting. Um, maybe there's a more specific thing that we can include beyond just application helper so that we don't, we don't have all of the methods, but maybe just like something related to this. Anyway, I don't hate that, so I'm going to leave that alone. I don't actually need this here. That's kind of weird. I don't need to say selector is application helper. Um, one more time, test it out. Make sure I didn't play a trick on myself. Okay, cool. So we're good to go there. Now what we want to do is say um, tasks controller dot render, and then we're gonna we're basically gonna give it a um, partial. No, we're not. We're not gonna give it a partial. That's what we did yesterday. We're gonna give it a task component dot new. And that's going to take in, what does the task component require? Just a task? Um, yeah, just a task. So we're going to say task component dot new. I'm getting myself lost here. Task and task. Okay, let's try this. So if I go back and refresh over here, just change this to complete. And it looks like we're working. So that's actually extremely quick and easy to get going. Uh, and uh, I'm a big fan. So one of the suggestions that was made was to call tasks controller here instead of yesterday we did application controller and I believe that's really just for clarity of intention uh, because application controller is pretty generic um, but the render behavior is defined up at this level and then like task controller is just inheriting but I wanted to show just in case anybody gets confused about why that is that both actually work um, so it's working just exactly the same. Um, I do kind of like the task controller naming. Um, I think it, it weirdly doesn't make as much sense to me when we're calling task component dot new. Um, I almost wish we just had a generic render method or something in here. Um, I'm not entirely sure. It's kind of a interesting discussion maybe, but at any rate, I wanted to make sure that I explained that because I yesterday I used application controller and today I switched to this task controller. Um, anyway, I think that's going to be it for this episode. Um, this is actually really, really nice. I'm a big fan of view components and I'm a big fan of stimulus reflex and these are playing together really nicely, which is great. Um, but anyway, I will uh, be talking to you in the next episode. As always, if you want more content like this, be sure to subscribe to the channel hit the like button, hit the bell icon, leave a comment, all that good stuff, and I will talk to you soon.